Hello, this is Matthew Miller from the ZDNet Mobile Gadgeteer. I'm going to follow up uh, with my post that talks about the Nokia email client with uh, a walkthrough of the initial setup and so you can kind of see what to expect. After the sign-up process and the SMS is sent to you and you click the link, then it installs the application, it restarts your device. Uh, I actually had a couple little errors pop up and we'll see if they appear again. It's still in beta but then eventually gets to the screen here which is uh, zoom in a little bit SMS provisioning at the top welcome to the email setup select start up your email account on this device so if I select start contacting the email server and we'll just wait here for a second and one thing about this process that makes it very easy is as you can see here now, it has an at sign, which is the Nokia email client uh, icon. It just has me enter a password with login and exit. So uh, let me just uh, pause the video while I enter my password. And this is my uh, Gmail password that you're going to be entering. Whatever email client you set up, you enter that email password in there. Okay, I've entered my password. I'm going to select login. Now the great thing about this is, unlike some email clients that you set up, you have to sit there and enter the email, the password, all the different settings for your server, and that's all done on the server side when you sign up for the service, and then Nokia goes through and, and does that for you. So when you goes to your device, all you have to do is enter your password, and uh, if I enter it correctly, it should uh, get me set up with the email. So let's see what happens here. I'm using the Nokia E71 dash two the North American version I've been using uh, that with the Nokia email client for a couple of weeks so as you can see here this is like the main Nokia email uh, client interface and as you can see it's a nice UI and if I was to scroll around you can see the each uh, each icon tends to blow up as I select that icon and as you can also see up top the little uh, syncing uh, symbol is going round and round. It's actually downloading the emails and putting them into my inbox right now. Um, so let's go ahead and, and just show you this. There's hide down here, and then there's some options for canceling the sync, go offline, connection info. Now I haven't tried too much uh, as far as offline email creation, then go back online to sync that. Uh, that's something I should try because uh, then maybe when you're on a flight or something, you could create an email and then sync it. I, I'm not sure about that functionality. I'd have to check that. But let me go to my inbox and see if anything appears, if anything's synced down to it yet. Kind of show you. Look at the inbox, and there you can see there's uh, today, and I can actually select today, and it collapses it, or yesterday. And then if I click again, it expands it. And then as you hover over email, you can see that uh, it gives you the first line, that kind of thing. There's a geek.com newsletter. If I click on that, you can see this is... Uh, it has hyperlinks in there um, to both the email address, my email, and you know it's not HTML email, but there are hyperlinks that will link out to a website. And then you can also see here um, it's a much nicer looking interface. Options you can go to those links, reply, forward, delete, mark in red, move. And right now it doesn't support IMAP folders, so it just moves to local folders on the device. So if I select move, as you can see, those are the local folders on the handset itself. They're not my IMAP folders. Go back into that email just to kind of show you some of the other features. So there was move, there's copy to the clipboard, view the email details, select text, more, which selecting that lets you copy, flag, call sender, compose, previous message, next message, help, and let me just go to select. If I was to go to select text, it actually pops you into the text of the email. And then I can use the device to uh, to select text as I need to. Uh, I can't see with my finger there. But I can select the text and then copy that text to the clipboard so you can copy and paste from within the email application. One thing that I haven't found is easy way to go. Once you're in an email, an easy way to go next or previous, other than going to the options, next message or previous which you can go through to the bottom menu so it does speed it up 
but I haven't found a clean way to just go right or left to switch messages or a shortcut, which there may be shortcuts, I haven't figured that out yet. So in, if I was in a regular email, uh, the email list, I have some of those same options. Reply, as you can see, it's pretty much the same options from within an email. Let me just go to the Compose. And as you can see in Compose, if I was to start typing an email address, it actually will uh, filter through my list. Um, so it's nice and easy there. Copy, Subject, Options here are Add Attachment, Set a Priority for that email, and uh, View Hide, Show Copy, Blind Copy, that kind of thing. So nice little creation interface. Sorry about that offset. Ability to search. So if I was to type search, the search box comes up. You can, uh, let's see, let's just type in here Nokia, and then search, and then all my emails that have, that have Nokia in there should appear. As you can see, it's still doing my initial sync, but there we go. There's some uh, emails for Nokia, which I really like the search feature. Actually, apps search and you can go back. Oh, I just saw it had drafts, so it did search. Even though I don't have uh, some of those folders here, it did search through the IMAP folders on my Gmail server, which was very nice. Now another thing, uh, okay, there's compose folders. As you can see, like I said, it's just the folders right now on the device itself. And it seems to be stalling there for a second as it's. Um, I hit folders right when it was finishing up the sync, so it looks like it paused out. There we go. There's the folders, local folders. There's the sync. Some of the settings in here. I'll just show you some of those. There's some general warn before delete. No, I do not like that. Uh, message headers. Now remember one thing about deleting, if you are on an IMAP server when you delete it, it will delete it from the server. If you're on POP, it will not. It's just kind of a copy on there. Some of your different uh, notification or different setups that you can have there. When to sync. You can set your hours. You can set the intervals. There's also some account info, resetting the email, just that kind of thing. One other thing I want to show you, if I say hide, see there we go. There's one of my uh, errors that occasionally pop up still. Because it is a uh, it is a beta software still, but on my home screen here on my standby, I have Road Sync, and I also have this one here, which is the IntelliSync notification on the E71. So I will get an email or two that appear here if I was to select that. It would jump into the Nokia email client and show me the first email on the list. So I do have some notifications there as well. To me, it's a uh, Significant improvement over the standard Nokia email client, which is not very good at all and barely standable in my opinion. Uh, this is a much better client. Uh, it will in the future be a uh, subscription type of client, I believe. Um, but it's come a long way from what it was before. I wish it was something that was included on on all of the uh, on all of the devices by default. But we'll see what uh, what the future holds. So that's a look at the Nokia email. And uh, starting on Friday, August 8th, it'll be available in Nokia Beta Labs for anybody to sign up and use and download on their S60 device.